Thank you very much. When it became clear that the primate was going to issue an apology, uh, we convened a group of elders who um, were here, and we knew that we're going to be here. Uh, we also included Laverne Jacobs, who has been uh, one of our most important elders for a number of years. Um, he was CC'd on this, and we have put together a response to the primate's apology, and we would like to um, acquaint you with that at this time. We, the Indonesian elders of General Senate 2019, humbly received the apology for spiritual harm containing the church commitment for spiritual healing. We commit to the conveying your grace, loving, thoughtful words to the Anglican Council of Indonesian people for the consideration and sharing with our communities. Let us say a first of all that we know the church understands that healing and forgiveness is so deeply personal and is usually a journey, a process, nothing, not a single act. We cannot speak for those who were spiritually harmed by the church approach to colonization each individual and each community across this vast land was heard different experience and, and is that different stage in healing process. But we, the elders of General Senate 2019, believe, believe that your words of apology will be support this healing process. We understand and respect in deeply meaning of this apology and the commitment and, and honor with which was made. Those of us who have had a pleasure to work with and to know your grace appreciate it, appreciate beyond the word can convey it. that you have heard and understood us. We are touched to the death of our soul by your words and commitment. We must clarify, however, that no single statement of accept, accept, accept is possible on behalf of Indian people in this land. We respect Right for each individual and ponder to ponder your words, and we hope that those who are at the stage of their healing to accept and forgive will do so in privacy of their homes and community. Trauma can easily to reunite by the simple cues in day-to-day -day life, anger, despair, hurts, and humiliation can easily reappear often without warning, even when we have embraced the forgiveness. But, but we sincerely hope that your word provide comfort and help convey God's grace and love to those who are affected by the spiritual harm and by the church, the role of creating this harm. For its part, we are sure that the Anglican Council of Indigenous Peoples will want to share this good news document that embraces what God created that what God created us to be, the Indigenous Council can be a bridge in disseminating this document within our Indigenous nations 
and sharing the love with which it was delivered. This is an historic week in the life of the future of our church. We did it together. We are partners in change. It was our finest moment as a church. As a fully recognized, self-determining people within the Anglican Church of Canada, the apology is timely in reinforcing that the church is walking side by side with us as we continue our spiritual journey for healing. We now ask that the Council of General Synod and the House of Bishops continue in your commitment to our journey of spiritual renewal and to being champions of change. We need you to strengthen your partnership with our Indigenous Archbishop. We must move forward together to demonstrate that restoration of our spiritual practices to their rightful and proper place in the church can only strengthen Anglican discipleship across Canada. We want to share a reflection now by Elder Grace Delaney on the personal depth and the meaning of your words of apology. First, I just wanted to crawl into bed and cry myself to sleep. I wanted to cry for those who have passed on, who have not had the opportunity to hear the primates' beautiful words of apology for spiritual harm. I wish that they had known that their pain was not in vain. Though they rest in peace and are in perpetual light, I can help. I can't help but rejoice for them too. There have been many, including indigenous people who have responded to the call to carry the word of the gospel of our creator and have worked hard to spread the gospel among our people. There are those among our people who, though Christian, completely reject their own values and systems of their traditional heritage. And there are those with courage who have stood and are standing up openly in the face of criticism and anger. They have be beheld the yearning of our Savior's heart, our previous primate Michael Pierce, our current primate Fred Hiltz, and many others across this temporary earthly home of ours defend their belief in justice and reconciliation. Across this land, many have felt remorse and even shame and have chosen to change the tides of the form, former norms of our church. Now our primate takes a step to reiterate in word the thoughts of hearts. An apology that can help build bridge, bridges and help us be the way our creator has intended for each of, a, of his diverse people. Each nation can now be true to the way creator God intended and fulfill their true destiny. They do not have to choose between their God and their culture. I feel such strength and release in the words of our primates apology. It couldn't have come at a better time. Many of our people, young and old, have not found their identity and are caught in a chaotic state, not being able to figure out that the real me. I truly believe that if our creator made us different in color, in customs and cultures, then there really is a purpose and reason for each one of us, both diverse and collective, to see one another in the image of our triune creator. This is a moment to recognize that the courage that has been displayed in this apology has come from one greater and stronger and more powerful than our primate. There have been great orators throughout the history of humanity and we were given Fred Hiltz. In part of our gospel reading for July 7th, 
Luke 10, 17 to 21a. The 72 returned with joy and said, Lord, even the demons submit to us in your name. Our Lord responds, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. Nothing will harm you. However, do not rejoice that the spirits submit to you, but rejoice that your names are written in heaven. At that time, Jesus, full of joy, through the Holy Spirit said, I praise you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. It is in that same Holy Spirit that I thank you, your grace. Thank you for listening, all my relations. We thank you for your courage, for your eloquent apology, and for truly listening to the compassion of our Lord's heart to accept us as your brothers and your sisters with love. In our Creator's love and peace, we welcome your words of apology. Thank you. May our creator God always be with us.